I'm here with Dane Adcock, who is the VP of Business Development at Sky IT Group and an IBM business partner. And why don't you tell us just quickly what Sky IT Group does? Well, Sky IT Group delivers uh, analytical uh, solutions to the retail industry, wholesalers and retailers, involved in uh, primarily merchandising and planning um, solutions uh, into uh, stores and um, the retail space. And as you, you deal primarily with mid-market uh, retailers and you deliver them a level of analytics that I understand they would not have been, uh, uh, previously was confined only to large companies. Right. I think the, uh, all of the processes that are involved in accumulating these disparate data sources um, and um, warehousing them and delivering easy to use tools really was a process that was beyond the capabilities of most mid-sized companies. So uh, being able to offer uh, the new tools and, and processes in a software as a service solution uh, really has reduced the entry cost and, and the cost of maintenance to support the ongoing uh, analytical opportunities for those small businesses. Now it's often said that we are moving into the age of analytics. How is analytics changing the retail business? Well, analytics are giving more uh, visibility to uh, the, the marketplace, the response in the marketplace to products and locations and quantities. So for example, uh, today I think that it's enabling um, every single store to differentiate itself uh, according to the demographic that it that it serves, and the um, so that means that you, every single store can offer products that are unique to the consumers that shop there um, in an affordable uh, way in terms of the amount of inventory that needs to be deployed to support that service level. And that's an important point uh, you made during your talk today is about how. Uh, Consumers want a customized, a personalized experience now. They're not comfortable just buying the same brand uh, everywhere. How does that change the way retailers need to manage information? Well, it, it means that, they, first of all, they need to understand uh, exactly what consumers at locations uh, have an affinity to, to buy and, and, want, and aren't able to buy, in other words, out of stocks. And so the, uh, there's a lot of data that comes out of uh, all these products at every single store that are offered for every single week uh, that need to be uh, really assimilated and analyzed uh, and conclusions and be acted upon. And that means that you have millions of opportunities every week. The question is, is what 50 can you actually execute to deliver uh, better customer satisfaction by having products at prices um, available for instant gratification, and so, analytics is changing that. So it's about making it's it's about uh, boiling down that data to the few nuggets of data that really are going to help you make a business decision. At, there's no question about it. That's the challenge. Tell us a story. What uh, tell us about what one of your customers has done to uh, to fundamentally uh, change, improve their business using analytics. Well, uh, our customers uh, being manufacturers, m most many of, most of our clients are really wholesalers who uh, in the apparel business are actually manufacturers. They're specifying what's going to be designed and manufactured. Have uh, forever been more focused on higher level product attributes like style and style color. And uh, they've looked to traditional uh, musicals of sizes. And uh, so uh, one of the opportunities is, is every single store has a unique demand for a unique size musical and it may not and it may be different by style or uh, you know different types of products so our clients are now engaged in uh, precise analysis of size runs uh, at local uh, at locations even down to the store to understand what sizes should be deployed so that they sell through at the highest price with the fewest markdowns so that wouldn't have been possible five years ago or seven years ago, certainly not to a mid-sized company. So now today, you know, there's a great focus on producing products with the right sizes 
and deploying them to the right locations. And looking forward, one of the findings of the IBM mid-market study was uh, the importance of mobility to these companies. How do you see mobility reshaping retail over the next three to five years? Well, m most of our business is involved around supply chain and merchandising and planning. Um, marketing is a whole another space. I, you know, I can see from afar the great opportunities that are abound in marketing. On the supply chain and on the... Um, merchandising and planning side, I see so many opportunities to get players out of their offices, uh, out into the, the space of uh, where the products actually meet the consumer, and understand how those products are merchandised and how they're successful, and not be chained to their office. So offices are going to be less of a function. The data and the analytics can be consumed in the field where they're actually generated. And, and they can put those analytics in perspective and make better decisions, not at home, but where the consumer actually makes their choices.